All right, lads and lasses, it's officially Christmas time. Between the presents, the food, the Yule log fires, and the snow, well, if you ask me, this is one of the best times of the year. So today I'd like to keep the festivities going with my very own Destiny Christmas calendar. Basically, what this means is that I streamed a different Destiny challenge or task every day for 24 days. These challenges were all pitched by you guys, and some are easy, some are hard, while well, some are just dumb. My girlfriend also curated all these challenges so that each one would be a surprise to me on the day that I opened it. So each day, I did not know what I was getting myself into. This ended up being a ton of fun, so grab yourself some hot chocolate and candy canes, and let's get started. Have the legendary shards. I recommend you visit Zur on Titan and purchase the Wardcliffe Coil rocket launcher. <laughs> then get the legendary shards, you licking suck boy! Third grade. Before we start the Christmas calendar, here's a quick word from the sponsor of today's video, Manscaped. Manscaped is the champion of men's hygiene, and they've done it again with the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra. Included in this package is the Lawnmower 5.0 Electric Trimmer. This bad boy sports two interchangeable heads, the trimmer and the foil head. Together, these two create a tag team shave that's sure to get you your desired length every time on the first time. It also sports Manscaped skin safe technology for a more comfortable trim, a dual LED light for an easier trim, and it's waterproof. You'll also get yourself the Weed Whacker 2.0 to get rid of those pesky nose hairs. It also sports skin safe technology, it's cordless and rechargeable. Included as well is the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and the Crop Soother After Shave Lotion. These two will keep your privates feeling and smelling great all day without fail. And I must say, the Crop Preserver smells especially nice. Finally, Manscaped even adds in two free gifts, the Shed 2.0 Travel Bag and Manscaped Super Soft Boxers 2.0. Head over to manscaped.com and use code TOAD for 20% off and free international shipping at checkout. This is the perfect Christmas gift to yourself or any of the other guys in your life. So take advantage of this offer. I know you won't regret it. And a huge thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. All right, let's not waste any time and get right into this with day one, where our first task is to get a random exotic engram to drop. All things considered, this isn't too bad. But keep in mind, a random exotic is one that drops from an enemy out in the world, not something like a Nightfall completion or Vex incursion. I made my guardian a bit more festive and set out with Axolochi to find this exotic. We started by heading to Europe and doing a public event. I figured the snow might bring out some of that Christmas luck. We soon realized that this probably wasn't the most efficient way to farm engrams, so we turned tail and headed straight for the Dreaming City, in particular the Blind Well. Also, for the first two days, my monitor's LEDs broke, conveniently covering all of my ammo. So if I'm playing a bit funny at the start, that's why. Now, I'm not actually sure if random exotics have a flat drop rate, like 0.3%, or if it's more of an escalating drop chance over time. Either way, we spent about a half hour here, and I literally saw one legendary engram the whole time. Hey, they're real, they exist! We then decided to go and do some strikes. I hadn't done strikes in a while, and I figured they would have a pretty consistent ad densities. Dude, what if I get an exotic and just miss it? Holy shit! This, there is a full-on frontal assault going on over here. Oh, is this, is this? What? Is he okay? Is he, a, is this a good guy? Or? Oh! Anyway, after a few strikes, this happened. Barrier is down. We can move now. Let's go. Wait, what? I mi I missed an exotic? <laughs> you guys are f***ing with me. I don't think I missed one. Are you sure about It turns out you can actually see the exotic engram for one frame right here. And somehow, I completely missed it. Unfortunately, we couldn't go back to get it, but we went back to the postmaster, and sure enough, there it is. Let's go! Yes! Yeah, we got it. With that, our first day is complete, rounding out at 2 hours and 10 minutes. This brings us to day 2. I also updated my drip to be a bit more festive. Jack, you're literally dripping. That's ice on your neck. Thanks. The challenge today was to get a 360 no-scope sniper kill in Crucible. Yeah, this one is a lot more difficult. Yesterday was all about luck, and today is, well, still kind of about luck. Now, most normal people would go straight into 6v6 for something like this, but for some reason, I let the live chat convince me to do it in Trials of Osiris instead, and this went about how you'd expect. What the shit? You're still alive? Oh, man. Dude, <clears throat> fuck. Same, same side. Okay, Lochi! Am I good at this game? We're on the throw one. Oh, oh my god. Oh! You just got destroyed. It's cool. Oh shit. That's there, not Lochi. Oh! No, stay on the point, Lochi! Where are you going, Lochi? Okay, Lochi. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you should probably put up a shield. They're gonna be coming for you. I don't got a shield. No matter what you do, stay in the zone. They're coming for you. 
coming for you. They're coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> if only there was like a 6v6 game mode or something like that. I know of revives and everything. Yeah. The same fucking team we just faced. <laughs> Wait, really? Where's he at? No! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> After a few more awful games of trials, we went on over to Control, where we probably should have been the entire time. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> where you at, huh? Where you at? Just, that doesn't count, no. Oh, yes, yes! Let's go! Let's fucking go! Yeah! Let's oh, yeah, go! Three games of control later, I hit that MLG no-scope and completed day two, which actually only took us an hour and a half. Considering most of that was spent in trials, I think I did pretty good. Day three, however, wouldn't be so kind, because our challenge for today is to reach the galaxy pools. Now, if you know what the galaxy pools are, you're either shaking, sweating, laughing, or all three. But if you don't know what the galaxy pools are, don't worry, I didn't either. Basically, it's a strange out-of-bounds area located outside the EDZ. The problem is, it's extremely hard to get to, but I think it's funnier to watch me figure this out in real time. How do we get to the galaxy pools? Rip the rest of your evening? Is it really that hard? You can climb up the walls, or you can sparrow fly up, as I do. What the fuck? Okay, so I need to learn how to sparrow fly first and foremost. Up top, get up to where I am, then drop down. Guy, count to five, and then look back down at the sparrow. Who when the they look back figured this the out? This tutorial is 10 minutes long, by the way, and that's with most of the sections heavily sped up. The whole route is extremely complicated. It requires sparrow flying, sword flying, desyncing, and of those three things, I know how to do none of them. It also requires two people that both know what they're doing. To put it plainly, this one challenge would probably hold me over until Destiny 3. So we better get to work. To begin, I need to learn how to sparrow fly. So he pulled up this G minor video and got to work. In overall difficulty, okay. it took me about 10 minutes to learn. Fitness slipping, on the other hand, is much more of like an eight or nine out of 10. It took me around three to four weeks to really get down. So <laughs> Chad, he got three to four weeks to spare. <laughs> All right, first attempt. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Let's take it step by step. All right, we can summon our sparrow. That's step one, Chad. Okay, oh, whoa. Oh, okay, okay, cook it. Yeah, that was progress. Okay, okay, okay. What is he doing? Oh. He's beginning to believe. While I was making progress, I started to get impatient and looked into alternative methods involving strand and sword flying. The problem is, we still need a second person. Luckily, Frosty from our live chat offered to give me a hand. Frosty took off on his sparrow, but since I'm in survival mode, I just used strand. We then broke out of bounds and followed a series of really confusing steps that I'm not gonna bother explaining. All you need to know is that we tricked the load zones so we could get into the same area while technically being in two different regions. This whole process takes a while to reach, and sometimes when we die, we just randomly get respawned somewhere else and have to redo the whole thing. Anyway, the reason you need two people is because one person is the flyer while the other person is the desinker. I was the desinker with Frosty being the flyer. We also tried switching at some point, but Frosty was struggling to get his frames low enough on the Xbox. There's also this part where you have to leave your sparrow suspended over the infinite void. Frosty tried downloading four games at once, but his frames just weren't low enough. So what did he do? He busted out the Chromebook. Yeah. That Chromebook. <laughs> What'd you miss? My guy swapped over to the Chromebook. Someone just said, bro, your sparrow was yearning for the sweet release of death. It's loading. Let me see. Hold up, I gotta, I gotta pull this up. <laughs> <laughs> this is wild. That's insane. Also, apparently his Chromebook literally died after this. So F in the comments for Frosty's Chromebook. All right, we can, we can put the sparrow out of its misery, boys. And I'll join it. Oh my god! Anyway, after many attempts, he actually managed to sparrow fly up here on a Chromebook. But my Chromebook is already... <gasps> no f***ing way! <laughs> Dude, I can hear your Chromebook right now. I can hear the Scorch stacks being built. We kept at this for a while, but unfortunately, it just wasn't happening. It was a valiant effort, but we instead decided to get enough spoils for always on time. We figured the easiest way to do this would be to farm Crota, but there's another problem. I need 240 spoils for always on time, and since you get 5 spoils per Crota clear, this means we would have to clear Crota 15 times to afford it. Actually 16, because you don't get any spoils on your first completion of the week. Not the first one, because we get loot. Oh yeah, so 
Wait, do 16. <laughs> 16. Well, that's a <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we killed Crota like three more times before we eventually broke. Whoa, guys! Another five spoils! Let's Big. go! I can't Scooby Dooby do this anymore. I can't. <laughs> we killed him one more time and called it quits. Maybe I'll do a forfeit challenge later for giving up, but to be fair, Axolochi said she didn't realize that this would be so involved. Also, this took a little over four hours. Day four was when Season of the Dragon released, and thankfully the task was pretty straightforward. That was to get every Season of the Dragon seasonal weapon. This shouldn't take us long, and I spent most of the time just gushing over the new season. Holy shit, dude. I never thought this would happen. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so fucking cool. Bungie, thank you so much. This is the coolest thing. These are the seasonal weapons in question. Since I already got the pulse and linear fusion rifle from the first mission, this leaves the bow, shotgun, fusion rifle, and trace rifle. I went a while without getting anything, but then I got really lucky right after completing the story quest. Okay, there we go. Here's a shotgun. Okay, cool. Is that the fusion? You literally just need the trace rifle now, though. Hey, let's go! <laughs> Alright, that was super straightforward, on to day 5. Today, I had to do a nightfall with inverted controls and a flipped monitor. Unfortunately, I don't think my monitor can actually safely rotate upside down, so we're just gonna have to go with inverted controls. Okay. Okay. Oh, this Jesus, this is already so horrible. I feel really bad for my teammates because, let's be real, under these circumstances, they would have been better off getting matched with a fish. Oh my god, my sensitivity is so high. Oh, help me, please. Please, God, help me. Oh, please. Now, the reason I was looking to the Lord here was because my walk and aim stick are swapped, and on top of that, they're inverted, which is about as confusing as it sounds. Okay, okay now, now we leave. Now we leave. Now we leave. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, okay, let's... Oh god, oh my god, oh my god. The game glitched, so I restarted and proceeded to have an over 30 minute hero level nightfall. Do the stream, but we'll see. Oh, come on. There we go. He almost got away. He, oh god, I'll have a word with him. What the f- but eventually, we killed the boss, forgot to crush his ghost, then killed him again. This one was quick, which is great because day 6 was not. The task was to get a weapon pattern for a weapon you don't already have. Now this is actually really easy. I only needed one more distant pull to get the pattern, so I went to Sloan and that was that. Alright lads, that was the stream. Take care, I appreciate Since that was so easy, the live chat convinced me to try and solo the exotic rotator mission on Legend. This would give me the Revision Zero Catalyst. This was a day before Warlord's Ruin came out, so I figured it was also good solo dungeon practice. But this ended up taking way longer than I thought it would. So welcome to how not to solo Operation Seraph Shield. Abridged. I'm gonna try to do this just from memory. And then do we go left here or do we go one more? I'm gonna say we go left. I was wrong. Oh, okay. So left, middle, middle. Okay, it's left and then... Fucking what? And here, yes, okay. And that, well, I can just jump over to this. No, I can't. I can't just jump over to that. Okay. I don't even use revision zero, dog. <laughs> I just messed up. This time, this time, fourth time's a charm. Left. Okay. Oh. Look, you don't really know how to do something until you've done it five times. So, okay. Now this one. What do you mean my brain needs a buff? We walk forward, right? Okay, there we go. Easy. Easy. It's not that one, though. It's not that one. It's this one. Right? Oh, thank god. <laughs> there, there are two Shriekers! Okay. Question, what is the anatomy of a Shrieker, right? Is that like, is that its mouth? This room was pretty unassuming at first, but we quickly realized that this room sucks. Real life confidence is like an actual buff, like an in-game buff. I think it, what's this? What the shit? Bro is just 10 steps ahead. All right, good for him, honestly. I can't even be mad, that was, that was good. <laughs> House salvation. That's a brig. Not gonna lie, I forgot that that happened. I see. I see why. This is this is picking up, and those are tracer shanks. Oh my god! There are three bri. No way. We'll do it. We'll do it. But holy shit, <laughs> dude, we are training right now. Okay, <laughs> that did not work. A second. What the? F what? <laughs> do not have a healing. God. Oh god, okay, Marauders, yes, 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 this is like where you spawn. Yes, there we go, there's- you're still behind me! God damn it, dude! They just keep coming! Shit, 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 no! Oh. Damn it! 
Damn, my god. Pieces of shit, dog. No. My brother in light, can you chill? No, you're here. Overshield. Protect me. Oh, that was... You've not been forgotten, dog. Oh, gee, are those more marauders? There we go. There we go. It's one down. God. Today's challenge is already done. Like, this is just extra self-inflicted pain. I'm gonna super this guy, obviously. Man. My man. Damn it. God. Yes, 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 yes. No! Dude, the fucking marauder, bro! <laughs> what? Eventually, one of our live viewers told me about this window ledge, and thank god they did, because you're basically completely safe up here. Oh my god, that's so scary. Yes, one down. No, it's not. Now it's two down. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's just him. Okay, okay. Oh my god, was that it? Jesus Christ, is that a checkpoint? Oh, thank god. Oh my lord, boys. After this, we definitely violated the Geneva Convention and accidentally went on a little side quest. These paw prints? More paw prints, okay. All right, current objective, rescue good boy protocol, rescue Archie. After traversing some pretty treacherous terrain, I stumbled across the good boy protocol. There he is, <laughs> look at him, good boy. How long have you been down here? <laughs> anyway, I sent the dog on his way and went to challenge Praxis again. This also proved to be a lot more difficult than I thought. Oh, I should not have done that. Oh, chill, I thought I was gonna... You can still see me, dog? Also, still has really not taken much damage. Oh my god. Give me that, too. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I should be dead. But I'm not. This guy has a lot of health, and this went on for a while, but eventually I locked in and gave it my all. Oh, god damn it. There we go. Fucking cold snapping. Hey, he's doing it again! That was, that was almost really not good. Can you not do that? Come here, motherfucker! Please let that be it. Please let that be it. Yes! Oh my god! My hands are shaking. Oh, what do I do? Does he have a ghost I need to crush? <laughs> that took way too long, like almost three hours, but I got my revision zero catalyst and we can move on to day seven. And forgive me if I start going through these a bit quicker. This was the same day Warlord's Ruin came out, so the task was just to complete the dungeon for the first time. Shut up. I was okay. <laughs> Goofy! I thought you were standing in front of Ada. Goofy! I can activate you this. the cage! <laughs> Oh, Jesus Whoa. Christ! No, wait, do no me, way. do me, do me! Oh, okay, I almost got you. Bye bye! Michael, oh, leave me here! Yeah, the spell. Michael! <laughs> Michael! Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Let me out! Jeremy! Jeremy, where are we going? Jeremy! one by me? I'm hearing unlocking then I am still trapped. Oh! Oh yeah, you're absolutely right! Let's yeah. go! Yeah! Yeah! There so we go! Epic. I did it already once! Oh, so oh shit! <laughs> Let no let them happen! It's our meatball! Okay, yep. Oh, oh nope, that's no, not no. a meatball. It's Golgoroth! No, it's Locus of Wailing Grief. Brothers, brothers, brothers. <laughs> brothers, brothers, brothers. Acting like a what bunch of clowns. Like you are. Like a bunch of clowns, like you are. I, what? Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, put it in, pick it up, put it in. Quick, 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 qu
Yeah, Watch there we go. Oh, Wait, is she dead? Oh She's God. not dead. Hey kids, nice to meet ya. Are you ready, ready for some fast bear pizza? pizza? Who's this? <laughs> Working at the night shift. I don't, I don't know, know, but, but I, don't I don't think I, I like him. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. I can feel his heart He's racing. He's so cute. I can feel his heart racing. <laughs> <laughs> About time we got a brand new place. The yellow belly buckle like a. Hey, listen, I say we dig in. Okay, I'm taking us to Warlord's run. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. You, you need there, to lose your tower privileges. Literally, give me five seconds. Literally, give, give me five, five seconds. Get stop! Fucking! <laughs> 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 you live in the same room as them. Just check on them while we're half downtime. Check on yeah. them. The whole time you were complaining. <laughs> so what you're saying is Donovan you is firing are actually... blanks right now. <laughs> He's firing blanks right now. <laughs> That's not blanks. That's a whole shot. Ah. You're being used. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yo, wild like, wardrobe. Oh. <laughs> I know, right? All right. Three, two. Oh, he's running. He's running. He's running. Wait, he's, no, running. No, no, no. he's running. He's running. He's running. He's running. He's running. He's running. Oh my God. He just blew him into the room. Oh my God. Yeah, you did. Our first clear ended up taking about two hours. Anyway, let's move to day eight, where the challenge was to play trials, except we pick each other's loadouts. It's not stated anywhere how many wins we need in this challenge, so I decided five wins was the goal. Luckily, Caracals was on, and we got to work. First run yesterday, I did a uh, boss checkpoint, and I got the exotic. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, then you're using that for sure. Oh, no. <laughs> so I ended up giving Caracals the Malediction, Buried Bloodline, and Apex Predator, which I thought was pretty good. Caracals, on the other hand, gave me Deathbringer, Forbearance, and... And then, uh, your primary, I think I'm cooking here, Husk of the Pit. Come on! Husk of the Pit! Yeah. I'll remember that. Going into round one, we were hoping to get five wins without a loss on our card. And this is how that went. Retreat to my tunnel. Okay, he's wow. a goat. Wow. Go. Sigma. Hey, we got one. Hey, we got two? No! Oh. Holy shit, it's over. Wish I had a conditional God will stab. Oh. oh my god. Oh no! Wait, did he actually hit the bubble? Oh, that's so good. Yep. Shit. I ran in towards him and I went straight up. Just fully to the right floating. Yep. Oh wow. This is pretty much how it went for about an hour and a half. And these grotesque loadouts didn't make it any easier. Is he still in it? 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 Give me my super! Let me get the Deathbringer kill, bro. Let me get the Deathbringer kill. Get the Deathbringer. Get it if you buy the stairs. Is that the stairs? It's going. It's going. We got this. Yeah! Let's go! Oh my god. Lobster Johnson. Look at his Look at his kill trackers. Oh shit. We lost. Oh my god. I feel like Dwayne the Rock. Johnson and Johnson shots. He worked with Tony. Titan's one in the. I mean, is it on the point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bro. Oh, my God. I am not chasing. It's fine. our teammate. He just. He just. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. He's kind of low. You got him. But eventually, we pulled through and squeaked out five wins on a very flawed card. This took about two hours and brings us to a very simple day nine. The task for today was simply to play the floor as lava. And naturally, there isn't much to say about this one. I played the floor as lava and it took a couple minutes. That's it. Day 10. Today we need to win three Crucible games in a row using a loadout picked by the live audience. My live chat wanted me to play Warlock, and they then voted that I just randomize my loadout until they found something that they liked, which resulted in a double primary mess with absolutely no synergy and zero discipline. I also decided to get three wins in competitive because I hate myself. Have you ever seen a better discipline stat? I haven't. I've, am I rocking Phoenix Dive? Hold up, I didn't even notice that. Is that that's crazy. Oh shit! Okay, 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 Vestian Dynasty kind of... Why did I pick comp? Nothing in the challenge said anything about comp! Why did I do that? Don't, bro, don't, bro, just back off. There we go. I lost. My next game was on Burnout, my favorite map, which I lost, making me 0 for 2. My next game started with me being AFK, which may have actually been a net positive for the team. Either that or skill-based matchmaking finally kicked in, because we finally got our first dub. After this, Duck joined my game and also randomized his loadout to stay on theme. Having him definitely provided a bit of an advantage. Either that, or again, the matchmaking finally realized I was dog. The other team lost a player, and from there, it was pretty much game over. I'm gonna go and handle it. Okay, you go, King. That's two games down and on to the third. While we were searching for the third game, the GTA 6 trailer came out, which I figured I should mention for the history books. Right here, chase him away. Oh, you got a dude right here. Holy shit. 
Yep, there's a hunter. I'm getting away from this shit, bro. Nope, I'm sorry. So we have two wells, they have two bubbles, so. Alright, guess we're doing it. How? What the heck? Okay, he's going for it. He's about to get so shit on. If he lives for the next like two seconds, I'll be shocked. Yeah, no. Wait, wait, don't don't, don't rush yet. Don't rush yet. No, trust, trust, give. No! Go, 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 go out there and get you hurt! Heavy. Fuck, you were supposed to run out there and sacrifice you're yourself. Give me heavy. Yeah, yeah, we're going. We're doing this, bro. Get in here. Okay. All right. Boy! Fair, fair. God damn. God damn. Boy! There you go. There you go. There you go. That's GG. Anyway, with that, I won my final game. Day 11's challenge was to have horrible fashion and win best dressed three times. I first had to choose an exotic. Since the goal is to look as bad as possible, my options were Cadmus Ridge, Kepri's Horn, and Eternal Warrior. These all look bad, but I went with Eternal Warrior because it somehow manages to shade worse than Cadmus Ridge. I went through a few variations that were all bad, but not bad enough. I needed it worse. I needed it awful. I needed perfection. I loaded into Iron Banner and found a full lobby of hunters that literally all looked the same. And then there was me. I thought maybe because I stood out that it would get me noticed. Instead, we got dropped and I got nothing. Clearly, I needed to reevaluate my approach, so I went to Relic. Stiff competition, boys. Stiff competition. Now, some of you are laughing, but I love Relic. I'll also take this opportunity to once again ask Bungie to bring back Combined Arms. Got the oh my god! Holy shit! Oh my god. God, Jesus! Can I get my first seventh column, please? Please! Is this a seventh column? Give it to me! Oh, no, I really wanted that to be my first seventh column. No one? There, there we go! All right, now we just gotta get two more. There we go. Most of all of us, even though you're literally just wearing the trials gear. There we go. All right, that was simple enough, but day 12 is not. So today's challenge was to get the other half sword to drop. If you don't know, this is a very rare void version of the Arc Energy Sword Half Truths. How rare, you might ask? Well, no one has an exact answer. So I'm gonna count every single chest I open until I get it. So if you liked the cowboy hat video, strap the f in. Probably. I don't know what the chance is for the drop. Yeah. Alright, rank, what, what rank do I need? Four. No! Hey! Oh! 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 Let's go! Let's go! Give me. Give me. Please, bruh, I'm begging you, give me eight. No. Oh, oh, I was wrong. What? <laughs> After 41 chests and 6 hours of Dares of Eternity, I decided it'd be best to call it for the night and keep trying over the next couple days, so we'll come back to this one. Day 13, though, really sent me through a loop, because, well, just look at this. Challenge for today. What? I thought about how I could accomplish this for a while. There was a glitched hunter chest at the Drifter that was accidentally selling for 15,000 legendary shards instead of 15,000 glimmer. Now, I thought about buying two of them, so I figured I could set the record for the most legendary shards spent in three seconds. But Sweatsicle apparently had already bought two himself. So to top him, I would have to buy three of these chest pieces, totaling 45,000 legendary shards, which I was willing to do. The problem is, I only had 17,000 shards, and for every legendary legendary you dismantle, you get a whopping 3. To put that in perspective, I would have to dismantle 9,333.3 pieces of legendary gear to meet this threshold. If I were to dismantle my entire vault, do you know how many legendary shards that would get me? 1,800. I would need to dismantle over 5 full vaults to afford 3 of these chess pieces. Now I know someone is already typing, but Toad, you can dismantle exotics to get more! And you're right, for every exotic I dismantle, do you know how many legendary shards I get? Fucking five.
so we need to find something else. Thankfully, Darkside from my live chat let me in on a little secret. At the time of recording this, nobody had posted a speedrun for a full fire team normal mode clear of the Lightfall mission Breakneck. Is it stupid? Kinda. Is it a world record? Technically. So we busted out the speedrun timer and got right to it. Our first run was pretty bad, finishing at 7 minutes and 49 seconds. We then would have gotten below 7 minutes, but Nimbus didn't want to stop talking. Sub 7, yeah, sub 7. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Oh, we're making sub Did you seven. See how sweet that was? If Nimbus shuts yeah, up. <laughs> that uh, was pretty sweet. Oh my gosh, dang. How did that right, know Nimbus, how stop talking. was gonna work out this time? It worked all right. Right the powerful acid here. Stop there. talking in the right context. In the right context. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Guardian. Nimbus! Shut A couple attempts later though, we managed to clock in at 6 minutes and 23 seconds, which for my first speedrun ever, I'd say ain't half bad. I submitted the speedrun, and as of right now, myself, Dastil, and Darkseid hold the record. I thought this one was pretty dang cool. As promised, I then returned to Dares, so let's bring back the counter. Forty-nine chests and still nothing. So let's move to day fourteen. Today we have to get an entire squad wipe in Gambit without the use of ammo or supers. I actually really like this one. Also, Lochi mistakenly put a nightfall memento on her other half, which I just thought was funny. Anyway, my first invasion didn't go too well. I got one kill but ran out of time before I could get the squad wipe. My second invasion though was pretty good. There's one. There's two. There's three. Oh. So yeah, pretty good. That challenge was a lot quicker than I thought it'd be, which leaves plenty of time for more Dares of Eternity, baby! baby. Hey, let's go! go. After see, how many did you, I think I have a couple. Not even check. <laughs> oh yes! 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 yes. Let's go! 55 chests later, not counting all the post-game dares loot, and I finally got myself that beautiful red border other half. Now let's move on to day 15. Thankfully, this one is really easy. I just need to do all the lost sectors on a given planet. So Axolochi joined me, we went to the Dreaming City, and that's exactly what we did. We also found all three lost sector cats while we were at it. Now day 16 was a bit more ambiguous. I was told to do all the quests I had been putting off. Maybe it'd be good to just like clear some of that out like all of it and <laughs> like all of it <laughs> now clearing my quest tab would take multiple days so we decided to tackle this random empire hunt quest but then realized that if there was any quest i'd been putting off it was the new wish ender quest so that's what we did this quest is actually really cool and adds some much needed life to the shattered throne dungeon basically there are three secret orbs you have to find around the dungeon these orbs spawn three bosses you kill them all and you've just earned yourself the really cool looking wish ender exotic bow this was easy enough though we did have some hiccups along the way that made this take a little longer than it should have. By the way, it is actually silly how little health this boss has. The next day, I was tasked with getting 100 glaive kills in PvP, which sounds awful, but it was actually a lot of fun. Minus the first game, because for some reason I thought it'd be a good idea to try this in Iron Banner. I ended game one with four kills. Luckily though, this sped up drastically when I went into another playlist. Oh, wow. Oh, 11. Alright. There we go. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, I am one in a good Alright. Okay. Oh, there you go. Get out of here. Oh, my God. Get out of here. No. Yes. No, shit. No. Oh my god, you tried it. Okay, get out of here. There's oh my god. Does that count? <laughs> oh. Oh. oh shit, let's go. There we go. Oh, no. Nope. Get out of here. Like, like, oh, oh, that's a good 10 or 20,000. I had a, I don't know, really long people that have been around here for a minute. Oh, oh so Oh my! Don't know what to do. 
Oh, I don't know. Oh, 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 poor guy, dude. Very good. Very good. And we got the move. Oh, it's insurmountably huge! Insurmountably huge! Oh, my feet! Yow! It's right time. Wait, what are you doing for the flag game mode? Maybe it just doesn't play. No way. Okay, what's 96. 98, 99. Oh, that was 100. <laughs> That was actually a ton of fun and not that bad. Day 18's challenge was to beat a GM Nightfall using only dawning weapons. Now, Lochi made an oopsie, because GMs weren't actually out yet. So I grabbed some people and we did a master one instead, which was still really annoying. We locked ourselves to stasis subclasses to keep it festive, and it still took over a half hour, but I guess it wasn't that bad. Day 19, I had to solo a dungeon on Void Titan and Deterministic Chaos. Now, because it doesn't specify exactly which dungeon, I picked Pit of Heresy since it's easy and I like it more than Grasp of Avarice. I turned into Slay Smoothie and the dungeon was really easy except the final boss. That one gave me some trouble. Okay, yep, that's it. Let me get out of here. Oh, god damn it. Oh, but you can. Yep. Holy shit! No! But a couple attempts and four damage phases later, the night went down and we cleared the challenge. On day 20, I was told to get Strand or Stasis on a character that needs it. Now, I'm a Titan main, but my Hunter has Stasis and my Warlock doesn't have either. Getting Shadebinder on my Warlock would have been a lot quicker, but I really wanted to get Threadrunner on my Hunter. So, I got two people together and we speed ran the entire Lightfall campaign, every mission except the first, in just about 90 minutes. And you know what? I think we made pretty good time. On day 21, I had to win a Crucible game with an entire team using the Boudicca C legendary sidearm. Why the Boudicca C? Well, it's a running joke from the Witch Queen Nuzlocke. At first, we tried rallying six guardians in a game of control. Watch your back, watch your back, watch your back! Who is you? Get him out of here, yeah! Keep yeah. going, keep going, keep going! Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going, I'm, oh shit, yeah, that Jade web, it hurts. I'm on my way, homie. Hey, you, hey, he's coming around, he's coming around with Thorn. I'm getting A. I got you, I got you, I got you. Oh, no, oh, it's Joker, it's Joker. It's another game. But after that didn't work, I had a realization. Six Boudicca's? It's not enough. I want 12. I want 12 of them. Baby! <laughs> Who is this purple homie back here? Flashing! Go, friends! I'm frozen! You son of a bitch! Take control of the middle. Frogs, regroup. Regroup at spawn. Everyone, everyone take five before supers start going off. Something, something is not working. We are being ambushed! Oh, shit. Oh, God! Dang. No! No! No, get me out of here, bro. <laughs> Come here! <I'm> <laughs> Shit! No, boys, they have a shade binder! Oh, fuck! No! <laughs> but, who is that over there? Oh, yeah! Oh, get out of here, Vex. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, that's a Vex. No! Kill me! You piece of shit! Hey, hey, got, got boys in there. Get him! No, get me out of here, get me out of here. They just boot a camp! He just boot a camp! Get him! Oh shit, they Come on, team! Never back down, never what? Oh shit! One more! One more! Get him! Get him! Yeah! I dare you have it! Alright, that was pretty chaotic. Let's cool down with day 22. For today's challenge, we had to do Deepstone Crypt using all stasis subclass and Christmas themed callouts. Your gauntlets actually look fire as hell. It's like the John, what the I fuck was did that? This yeah. Where my coin? <laughs> I'll escort you, my coin. Follow me, my coin. <laughs> oh. Remember, like back in school. Oh no! <laughs> His mic is so loud. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, my coin. Follow I'm me. I'm gonna go get the coin. Where are we going? Oh, by the way, I'm on PC now, Marty and John. Where oh. are we going? <laughs> uh, what the fuck? How did your body get Whoa. over here? I'll be, I'll be Santa. I'll, I'll take you my queen. We need an eggnog on light as well. Duck, can you be eggnog on... Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh... Yeah, you're dead. I don't know. Is this one? Is it yellow? Is this... Okay, is this yellow? Nothing's yellow. Is this one... Fuck me. Ooh, yeah, it's yellow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, black. Left. Uh, right, left room. I mean, white. <laughs> what? <laughs> this kid is actually useless. He's probably gonna die. I can't get out. <laughs> right, dark right, right, uh, light right, light right, light right. That was, oh that's God. light left! 
Rusty Forehead! There's no explanation for that. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually about to cover for you, but I was like, nah. Uh, don't go down immediately, just wait. I'm down. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't know. Let me be center. I want to be center. Let me be I'm more of a visual learner. It's not my fault. Shut the fuck up. I need to be alive. I know. <laughs> Are you like locked in another room for immersion? I think Santa's yeah, glitched. No, I was right here. Yeah, they're contacting all right. Contact. The Destiny 2. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the generators are glowing red. Is that? Is that? Uh, yeah. No, that means you're winning. Cool. Bro, you're not from the streets. No, no I'm not. I'm from a gated community. I behave. You don't. <laughs> Wait. Do you want to see the joke I made for John? Yes. No. Okay, yeah, what, no. What look, 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 <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, shit. Light it up, light it up right now. Light it up right now, bro. Light it up right now, bro. Oh, shit, bro. I am trying it. Uh, good oh, one, Doug. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. For the past six years, I've been getting harassed by Toad Smoothie. <laughs> the reason why I stopped playing with Toad Smoothie. Cover it, team. Cover it. Come on, buddy. No! Oh, I shit myself! That's fucked up. Oh, oh. Whoever did that shit, you're fucked up. Whoever did that shit, you're fucked up. Dude, we're gonna shoot his <laughs> engines. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why I'm. I know how to do this. Okay, um, well then I'm, I'm explaining. You, yeah. Shut the fuck. <laughs> all right, all right. Never knows how to do it. All right, all right. No, two. No, two. It's a disguise. Raid, bro. Two. Two booty. Vanessa, I'm a material girl. What? Are you Thor the God of Hammers? No, you're Thor the God of Hammers. No. Christ hit me with that. I'm very damaged. Why are you even using that? Salvation, Christmas damage. I'm doing. I'm just doing primary. There we go. Let's go, baby. Yo, Vanessa. <laughs> Alright, let's keep moving right into our second to last day 23, where my task was to complete a GM using only snowballs, but as we've established earlier, GMs aren't out yet, at least they weren't. And by some stroke of god, snowballs were bugged in nightfalls, specifically so that they pretty much never spawn. So because of this, we did a regular strike and just adhered very closely to the snowball only rule. We also allowed diamond lances though because they're kind of like icicles, which turned out to be a far more viable strategy than I ever would have thought. Hey, we turned him into a snowball too. Unfortunately, this brings us to the last day being day 24, where the final task was to get the entire tower lobby to dance with us. To make this as efficient as possible, I loaded into a tower and had six people join me. They then left the fire team but stayed in the tower to allow more people to join from the live chat. SS Wait, let's go! <laughs> Huge! And before we knew it, we had complete and total dominion over this tower server. Unfortunately, we had so many people trying to join at once that we actually actually broke the server and capped it at about 15 people, with the remaining 10 staying in an endless loading purgatory. But if you ask me, I think this is a pretty great way to end a very fun 24 days. I would say it's a great way to end the year, but someone tells me we just hit a really big milestone of some sort. If you made it to the end, I seriously appreciate that, and if you enjoyed, a like would be greatly appreciated. Also, if you're new around here, consider subscribing for more fun Destiny content. In the meantime, if you want to watch something else from me, on the left you'll find my How Not to Solo Warlords Ruin video. And on the right, you'll find whatever YouTube decides to put there. I hope you're having a great day, night, or whatever it is. And until next time, Guardians, Merry Christmas.